Thank you for joining us for this episode of Recipe Share, a program on AADL TV where we take a few minutes to talk about recipes in a featured category. Today's category is using yogurt. I'm Katie, and as usual, I'm joined by Elizabeth and Beth, who will tell us about their recipes. So, Beth, tell us what you chose today. All right, I had a pretty fun one with yogurt. Um, I had asked my daughter uh, if she had any recipes. Whoop! And of course, I just lost it. Um, yeah, so she shared this uh, uh, yogurt bark that she got from Yummy Toddler Food. Uh, I am still, I had it here. Uh, sorry. And, uh, what it is, is like, you take Greek yogurt. Here it is. Frozen yogurt bark, Greek yogurt, some fruit. It's super pliable. You can do anything to it. Um, and you, you know, coconut milk too, coconut cream. Um, and then you can add in fruit. Anyway, you, you spread it on a, on a pan and then stick it in the freezer and then you break it up into bark. Here's, here's a picture of theirs. The, um, and mine look very similar to that. Um, so you just, yeah, you, until it's broke, stick it in the freezer and then, and I put it in my freezer in the basement. Um, and then, uh, once it's solid, you just break it up and I have pictures of that and pictures of it in, um, in plastic bags. Um, it, it's versatile because you can, uh, add like peanut butter or chocolate. I also have a picture of Haley's, um, that she ended up making cause our, my grandson had his tonsils out. So she needed to make some things that were going to be comfortable for him. So, uh, she made a couple batches of that. Um, so yeah, it's just, you add in, you, I blended it with some blueberries, um, and then added some raspberries and blueberries on on top. And then I also had sprinkles. Um, mine were yellow, just like this lady's. So uh, I did use those, but um, it was super fun, easy. It was a little, it's kind of weird to eat for a small kiddo because, you know, it gets a little messy. So we were putting it in a dish, um, but it's still, it's tasty, healthy, takes no time. I feel like I've tried this before and I was not successful. So I'm excited to use your recipe and try it. Um, I didn't use coconut cream, so maybe that makes a difference. Um, but yeah, I'm really looking forward to trying this again because I found it really appealing and I'd never thought about adding chocolate to it. So now I'm even more intrigued by it. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Peanut butter and chocolate would have been, that sounds really yummy. So mm -hmm. Um, um, when you, I have a question when you, okay, so it's in the freezer in the pan and then you break it up uh -huh. and then do you store it in the freezer in like a yeah, bag? Yes. Or something? Yeah. Okay, yeah, I, st I just, stored okay. it in uh plastic bags and then yes, it melts pretty quickly. So when you take it okay. out, well, yeah, 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 depending. And I also didn't, uh, smooth it out real evenly. So some of mine are thicker than others, but, um, yeah, it was, and the person that shared the recipe said they use their leftover yogurt, which is also, you know, a good way to just, you can just throw a bunch of stuff in the blender and boom. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. That's the other thing. I didn't blend mine either. So I think that that might be uh, another step that is helpful. And did you use parchment paper when you yes. put it on? Yes. Okay. Parchment, pa yep. okay. parchment paper and then spread it on. Yep. Sure did. Cool. Sounds great. Good. Yeah. Just in time for a summer. Totally. Um, all right, Elizabeth, what did you make with yogurt? Yeah. Um, so I love Greek yogurt. I usually do just eat it like plain with um maybe some like honey drizzled on it as like a I have like a part of my lunch or something. I also think yogurt is really yummy to bake with, um, which my mom does a lot, but I, as we have discussed ad nauseum, don't really bake. Um but I found a really yummy recipe for, um, it's called Cobb egg salad. Um, so I love egg salad and, um, I also love Cobb salads. So I was immediately drawn to this. This comes from, um, Delish 
but um, this was really yummy. So basically um, you stir together three tablespoons of mayonnaise, three tablespoons of Greek yogurt, and two tablespoons of red wine vinegar and season with salt and pepper in a bowl. Set that aside and then in a bigger serving bowl. I mean, this serves, this is six servings. So I didn't do this amount because I was just making it for myself. So I just did a very small version of this, but I'll just share the recipe as it's listed. Um, eight hard boiled eggs that are, you know, chopped up, eight strips of bacon that's been cooked and crumbled, half a cup of crumbled blue cheese, half a cup of cherry tomatoes that are halved or sliced um, or halved or quartered, um, a chopped avocado and two tablespoons of freshly chopped chives. And you throw it all, all together in a bowl and the dressing, toss it together. This was delicious, uh, loved it. I thought the Greek yogurt was great. Um, I like, I guess with traditional egg salad, do you, you use like mayo and mustard? Um, I was trying to like remember cause I don't make egg salad that much, but this was really yummy. Um, the bacon was so good in it. Um, and the yogurt like really worked well. Um, so I would absolutely make this again. This is a great summer lunch situation. Um, you could honestly, you could also just kind of like serve it over lettuce if you wanted, that would be really yummy. Um, and highly recommend this. So easy. The only annoying part is cooking the bacon, but you could probably even get bacon crumbles if you wanted. I cooked it fresh, didn't bother me that much, but super delicious and um, definitely easy, but something I hadn't thought of before. So that is my Cobb egg salad and it was, it was fabulous. The blue cheese in the salad, I have not, that's a new thing, but yeah, it sounds delicious. Agree. And I was going to say, sometimes we'll just cook up bacon, like when it's, you know, half package, and then it's, it's really convenient to have it. That's the kind of thing that I would like to have it for is just to have already cooked bacon. Um, oh, I love that idea. Yeah, it sounds like a really unique summer potluck idea. Um yeah, I love the idea of putting the Cobb salad ingredients in the egg salad. Sounds wonderful. Definitely will try it. Yeah, it was good. And um, yeah, Beth, that's smart. I should just have bacon ready to, to add to anything. <laughs> You're like, that's the way to go. So I, I bake it in the oven, you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. so yeah. Okay, Katie, what did you use but your yogurt for? Okay, so my recipe comes from a book I got from the library called Hot Sheet, Sweet and Savory Sheet Pan Recipes for Every Day and Celebrations by Olga Masov. I really like this book. I was sad to give it back to the library, but I don't have it. So I'll show a screenshot of it. And I definitely recommend checking this one out. Um, this recipe is for sweet potatoes, onions, dates, and pistachios on yogurt. Um, so what you do is you take a sheet pan and you toss together cubed sweet potatoes, sliced red onion, and olive oil. Season it with salt and pepper, arrange it in an even layer, and you just roast it for about 40 minutes, stirring halfway through, unless you're like me and you forget that step, and it will be fine. Totally fine if you don't do that. Your vegetables will get softened and brown. And then you remove the hot sheet pan from the oven and you immediately add some chopped medjool dates. Uh, they say to tear them, but I found that to be like very messy and sticky. And so I just chopped my dates. Um, but the idea is that then you stir together all your veggies and the dates and the residual heat from the pan warms up the dates. Um, and then, so you take your Greek yogurt and you spoon it onto a large platter uh, with the back of a spoon, spread it out evenly. And then using a microplane, you zest some lemon on top of the yogurt. And then you top with your sweet potatoes, onions, and dates. And then you sprinkle it with zatar. And I would say in this step, I would add liberally because it tastes really, really good. And the first time I made this, I don't think that I used enough. Um, and then you add 
some toasted pistachios. I gave mine a rough chop just for a little extra texture. Season with a little bit more pepper and salt. Drizzle with a little bit more oil. Serve it immediately. This says you can serve it with pita or naan if desired. I just ate it with a fork. I thought this was really, really delicious and it had some like unique flavors coming together. Um, I made this for myself once and then I had leftovers and they were really, really good. So I decided to make this for like a meal prep situation for myself for lunch. When I was halfway through making the veg, I realized that my Greek yogurt had gone bad. So I was like, well, that's terrible, but you know, I'll just, I'll eat it by itself and it'll be fine. But then I remembered that I had cottage cheese in the fridge. And so I used that in, in place of the yogurt in this recipe and it actually turned out great. Um, so that's a nice substitute if you need it, even though that tastes it completely out of our category. Uh, but I did really like this recipe and I would definitely recommend giving it a try. That sounds fabulous. I was thinking when you started talking that this would be, um, I like want to make this as like a Thanksgiving side. Yeah, like, that would be good. So delicious and kind of add like the veggies are kind of fall like, but just some unique flavors to the table. That sounds awesome. And but it, that, sorry, that reminds me that I was just thinking that um, it might be fun to put like a sprinkle of pomegranate seeds over yeah. top. And that would make it even a little bit more like holiday-ish. So that's cool. Yeah. Yum. I was thinking of an app, like using it as an app for oh, yeah. I mean, just a, or, you know, yeah. Or snack. Just Especially if you did the pita, like our toast, mm -hmm. it could be a. Like more of a dip situation. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's like absolutely true. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> that's really yummy, healthy. Never would have thought of that with the sweet potatoes. And that's, that's a great, great recipe. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. All right. Well, I want to thank everybody for watching Recipe Share. Be sure to click the link below to look at the event page on aadl.org to find the recipes we talked about, and you can share your own in the comments. Join us next time when our category will be pickled cukes. We're looking forward to seeing what you've been making, so thanks for sharing. Recipe share. Recipe share. Share a little recipe with me